What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Phil 20 here, and we've got an unboxing today. Uh, the top is already open. I've cut it open, but I haven't really pulled anything out. The only thing I pulled out was a, a manual, but I put it back in there before I even opened the plastic on it. So let's get to it. We got a really thick manual. Uh, it's got a bunch of stickers for the uh, labeling. Pretty cool. Uh, mm, checklist, I think. I'm not sure what all comes inside of here. Looks like we've got some number 8 gauge or no, number 10 gauge wire. One pack. Uh, brackets. More brackets, more wire right here. Here's a phone cable, not sure what that's for. Uh, cover. Some kind of light cover. Another cover for knockouts. This is a uh, pretty good size knockout there, ain't it? And then we're gonna run some power through it. And then we got a nice thick protector piece of box <laughs> okay we've got this box here which is a I'll go ahead and stand it up here we got the uh, magnum energy disconnect it's got a 250 amp breaker and it's got an inverter AC input inverter output inverter AC bypass so, to be honest with you, I thought I was going to have to buy all new cables and all kinds of stuff, but it looks like there's a bunch of cables already ran inside of it. That is absolutely amazing. Unpack it, look for damages. So far, so good. This actually already has a shunt installed. It's got tons of stuff already wired in, already wired up. There's a shunt right there already installed. There's tons of stuff. Everything's wired up already. I mean, basically you just plug it up and go. That is amazing. Cover box. I'd say that would go on the top if you didn't have an inverter that fit, the, fit on it. This could also go on the top I'm assuming I'm not sure, but it's got vents. Now let's open it up. Not sure where this goes. Maybe I should read the instructions. And then we got this. Not sure where it goes. Maybe I should read the instructions. Like I said, I should probably read the instructions. Bam. That. Really nice. Really, really nice. And then, not sure where this goes. Maybe I should read the instructions. I mean, I haven't went through nothing yet, so I mean, I, I don't know. But it looks like it's going to be simpler than I thought. I'm assuming the inverter attaches to this thing. Here's another bracket. It's got a couple of phone cords here and a battery temperature sensor maybe or something. It looks like all the screws are Torx bit screws. Looks like a six pointed star. But it, you know it's a Torx bit to me. Phone cables. Two of them apparently. Two phone cables. Remote. Network. Cool. Uh, another cable, this is an extension, another bracket, and then here's our wonderful stickers, let's get close, can focus, cool, 
and you got uh, brackets here and just piece of paper. I mean, I gotta go through all the paperwork. It is totally cool. And then uh, the last thing, not least, is uh, apparently we got a black wire, black striped wire. A red wire, a, a red striped wire, a green wire, and a white wire. White's going to be the neutral leg. Um, so I'll use the striped wire as the inverter circuit. And I'm going to go through the manual and figure out exactly what we need to do. This is Phil 20 with solar power, electricity, and electronics. I'm going to holler at y'all later. And the next video coming up is going to be the inverter. Peace.